Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast, where we interview experts in various fields with the goal of empowering women to make informed decisions about their health, life, and family. I'm your host, Amy Jane Smith, and I would like to thank you for tuning in today to get comfy while I introduce our next guest. Hello and welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I'm your host and today is another frequently asked question. So this is a nice short episode for you, only five minutes long, maybe ten minutes. And what I want to achieve from this series of frequently asked questions is I want to answer your questions. So if you find that I haven't answered your question or you want a little bit more information then please get in touch you can comment below this or you can send me a message send me an email or book a free call if you'd like to know more but please subscribe to this channel because you will get notified then whenever I release a new episode so today's frequently asked question is let me just grab my piece of paper it is what do pelvic floor muscle what do pelvic floor exercises do okay so you might have had somebody maybe it was a doctor or a midwife or your well-meaning friend or auntie tell you to do your pelvic floor exercises and you might be thinking what what are they what's the point what do they do and what they do is wonderful they help you a keep in touch with your pelvic floor muscles um b help you remain continent um, they can help you to enjoy a better sex life and they can support things like prolapse as well um A good functioning pelvic floor is a pelvic floor that does its job when you jump, when you cough, when you sneeze, when you lift, when you laugh, and many more. What it does, so if I use my hand as an example, it's it's a sling that sits at the base of your pelvis. And when you cough or sneeze or run, or use run for example, or jump if you're doing jumping at the gym, it bounces and it flexes. Imagine like a trampoline. So you're bouncing on a trampoline and as if you're your internal organs and your pelvic floor is the trampoline. So when you bounce, it goes like this and it bounces and it springs back okay so this is what's happening inside our bodies as we if we were jumping up and down as we were running anything that causes our organs to kind of go and bounce and fall down as we jump and that impact the pelvic floor is absorbing that impact imagine like really comfy shoes they help absorb impact when you're running things like that so that's what the pelvic floor does and over time Dysfunction can occur where you may have had trauma or through lifting a lot of things and maybe holding your breath, mismanagement of internal pressure, um, childbirth, um, obesity, having lax um, muscle tissues over stretchy muscle tissues, being hyperflexible, all of these things can affect the pelvic floor over time and injury and surgery and treatments of different kind can do that as well and it can cause us to maybe notice incontinence or prolapse or just pain maybe and the pelvic floor exercises can help to strengthen those muscles so that when you do run, jump, exercise, lift, laugh, you don't have an accident of any kind. By accident, I mean incontinence of urine or feces or wind, or wind as well. Um, 
So the pelvic floor exercises, they help strengthen, as I just said. What is important to note though, is with a contraction, so if you're squeezing to stop a wee, or you're squeezing to stop a passing your gas, when that feeling to go for a wee has passed, you need to be able to relax the pelvic floor muscles as well. So if I was squeezing to tighten and then, okay, I don't need to go, or now I'm at the toilet and I need to go, the pelvic floor muscles need to go and let go. So you're going for a wee, you're holding on, you need to go to the toilet, so you sit down, you don't want your pelvic floor muscles to be on still. I'm holding a fist here for those just on audio. You don't want them to be really tight, you want them to be able to relax. So pelvic floor exercises aren't just about tightening, it's about coordination and making sure that the muscles can relax and let go when it is time to maybe have intercourse, go for a wee, go for a poo, or let a cheeky one rip. So all of these things, it does need to be able to relax as well and give and flex like a trampoline when you are running or providing impact. So that is what pelvic floor exercises do. I hope that answers that question. If you have any further questions, please um, book a free call and I can have a chat with you about this or anything else. You could join my free group where I answer questions in there. Also, I'll pop all these links in the show notes. And if you want help finding your pelvic floor muscles and making sure that they're working correctly or being able to check if they're working at all, you can also go to my website again, which I'll pop a link below and you can find a pelvic floor physio near you. So thank you for listening to this episode. I hope you found it useful and I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Women's Wellness Podcast. For links and show notes, please visit www.connecthealth.fitness forward slash podcast. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we release our next episode and please share with anyone who you think might benefit. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.